guys, this is Haley from OneOneRabbits.com and today I'm going to be making a video on how to keep your rabbits cool. So it is almost summertime here and a lot of places are warming up very quickly, especially in the south. So I thought this video would be perfect for this time of year to help you guys keep your rabbits cool during the warm months. Rabbits are very prone to heat stroke and can get very hot very quickly. Because of this, you want to keep their temperature under 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. But I know it's really hard to keep a house that cool, especially if you don't have air conditioning. So I have a list of tips here to help you guys out and help keep your rabbit cool during these warm months. So probably the easiest thing to do is to turn your AC up if it is very warm in your house. Uh, this is definitely something that helps cool your house down very easily. But I do know that some people can't afford to keep their air conditioning really cold, so um, if that's something you can't do, I do have a bunch of other tips for you. Um, and if you do not have air conditioning, a really good tip is to buy a window air conditioner. That's what I have in my upstairs room where I sleep because I do not have um, central heating and air up there. So I do have a window air conditioner which really helps cool my room off and it also helps cool the bunny room off because the bunny room is below my room. So, so a really good tip to use if you do not have air conditioning or if you can't turn your air conditioning um, down enough, then it is to like sort of make your own air conditioning. And an easy way to do that is to take a wet cotton sheet. I use a pillowcase and I just rinse it with very cold water and then squeeze the water out and clip it onto part of the rabbit's cage. And then you point a fan onto the wet sheet and that helps blow the cold, um, kind of like blows on the cold sheet and makes it kind of cool. So that is a really good way to help cool your rabbit down, but just make sure that it's only on part of the cage and that your rabbit can get out of the fan if it needs to because you don't want your rabbit to constantly be having like air blown on them because that can be very drafty for them. So just put it on part of the cage, not like the entire cage. The next tip is probably one of my favorite things and I use it all summer long with my rabbits and that is frozen water bottles. Frozen water bottles are super easy and super cheap to make for your bunnies. All you have to do is take an empty water bottle, two liter bottle, or any other sort of plastic bottle that was used for like either soda or you know, water, anything like that. Just fill it up with water and put the cap on and put it in the freezer overnight and it will freeze solid. This is a really good and cheap way to help cool your rabbit down. You can just stick them in your cage and the rabbits like to lay next to them and cool off. I personally find my rabbits like it better if I put like a sock over the bottle so that it's nice and cozy for them. Another good tip is to put frozen water bottles underneath fleece like in your rabbit's cage. I just line it up on the edge of the cage and put fleece over the top so it's like a kind of like a big bumper and the rabbits just lay up against it and they just love that. It's nice and cool for them. And another really neat thing is to make a water bottle bed. Uh, I personally have homemade beds that I made where I can put frozen water bottles in the little pockets and it's nice and cozy for them. But if you don't have one of those that can be easily made with just a normal piece of fleece, just stick two water bottles side by side and then just lay a piece of fleece over it. You can also stick a ceramic tile in between the two frozen water bottles to make it even more cool. So this leads us on to our next tip, which is ceramic tiles. Ceramic tiles are probably one of Mocha's favorite places to sleep. They are very cool and they stay cool like all the time, so like even if they aren't in the freezer or anything, they'll, they'll be cool to the touch. So I think that's really why Mocha loves them, especially in the summer. But to make them even more cool, you can stick them in the freezer for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes and then take them back out and it will be uh, nice and cool for them. If it's too slippery after being in the freezer, you can flip the ceramic tile over and it has like a bumpy material so that they don't slip. Just be careful when freezing ceramic tiles as I do believe that they could crack if you kept them in the freezer too long. So just be sure to take them out after like 15, 20 minutes. 
You can buy these at Home Depot for like just a couple of bucks. The next tip is to dampen your rabbit's ears with water and this is because rabbits use their ears to adjust their body heat so if they are very hot they'll send their body heat into their ears so that is a really good way to tell if your rabbit is hot is to feel their ears and if they're really hot that means your rabbit is hot and needs to be cooled down so if you just like wet their ears with cool water and then um, it just helps like blow like when they're like walking and stuff it helps cool them off because the water makes it cooler. I think it's a little bit harder for lop-eared rabbits because their ears aren't sticking straight up. Um, that is also why lops get overheated easier and so I find that Mocha because he is my lop-eared rabbit gets way hotter than any of my other bunnies just because his ears are flopped and he also has um, thicker fur. The next tip is to brush your rabbit. Excess fur on your rabbit would create a lot more heat for them so just brush off any hair that is you know falling out or whatever so um, I just give him a nice good brush if it's really hot out and um, just help remove any of that excess hair. Another good tip is to offer wet veggies. It is really important for rabbits to stay hydrated just like humans when we are in the summertime or any time in general. So a good, really good way to keep your rabbits cool and um, not overheated in the summer is to get a lot of water in them. One way to do this is to offer veggies with a lot of excess water on them. So you should be rinsing your vegetables anyways before you give them to your rabbit. Um, but you could leave a little bit of extra water on there than you normally would when it's really hot outside. So while they're eating the veggies, they're getting more water in their system. So another thing that goes along with this is offer fresh, cool water water from a dish. Rabbits need to stay hydrated and it's really good to provide fresh cool water to entice them to drink. Some places online say to add ice cubes in their water to help cool it down. Um, I personally don't like doing this just because I'm afraid maybe the ice cubes will deter them from drinking like if it's too cold or if it like scares them because it's moving around. Um, I also am worried that maybe they would like ingest the ice. I don't know. I think I'm just a little over paranoid. So I just personally offer nice cool water. Just make sure it's clean and fresh. And now for the final tip. This is for if it's a really, really hot day and no matter what you're doing, you just can't keep your rabbits cool enough. I've had some really hot summer days like this and the best way I would deal with this is to either bring them into the coolest part of your home, which is probably either like a basement or a bathroom depending like what you have and what is the coolest. If you live in the south and don't have a basement, a bathroom is probably gonna be the best option. You can put them in the tub with like a towel on the bottom so that it's not all slippery. Make sure the tub has not been used with harsh chemicals recently. And um, you can just put an X pen in front of the tub so that they can't jump out. And it is gonna be smaller, but you can add a litter box and veggies in there. I personally put my rabbits in the basement just because I don't live in the south, and so it is nice and cool in the basement almost all the time. So I just put a X pen up downstairs uh, for them to um, stay in during the day, and it stays pretty nice and cool for them up down there. So that is pretty much it for this video on how to keep your rabbit cool. I hope you found this useful. If you guys have any further tips on how you keep your rabbit cool, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys soon on a new video. Bye!